when I'm programming concerts, I always try to make sure that there's a reason for every piece to be there. Um, so that I'm not just, you know, playing a piece of Beethoven and a piece of Rachmaninoff and a piece of Chopin or whatever, you know, kind of randomly assigning things. Um, I prefer to program with sort of intention um, so that by the end of the evening people have had some kind of experience with the program as a whole. Often I think CDs are quite separate from concert programs in that with a CD you're often recording kind of all of one type of work, so like all the impromptus or all the nocturnes or Beethoven sonatas in a way that you would never play in a live concert. I mean, you would never play, or normally you wouldn't play a full concert of just one type of work. Um, which I thought is quite interesting question. You know, why do we make CDs that way? So I, I sort of wanted to address that question, you know, maybe blur the lines a little bit between how I perform for a live audience and how I perform for the recording.